Hello. Good to see you again this morning. It's been an interesting one already. Since yesterday, since returning from Peru, there have been a lot of interesting thoughts going through my head. I think whenever you go somewhere, not that it's necessary, but when you do allow yourself to leave your natural surroundings and really take a journey, unlike anything else that you've ever done, you can't possibly come back the same person. You can't possibly come back looking at life in the same way. You come back with a more expanded view. And then when you add to that the energy and the presence of uh, spirituality and, and how indigenous people hold a certain love and a certain caring for the land, that just amplifies everything even more. And so I've been seeing lots of different things and just watching and listening. And that's such an important part of the conversations of the universe. And what is happening inside of me is a, a greater expansion. I'm nearing the embarkment of this tour, which will be the end of July. So I basically have 30 days of getting everything kind of together and allowing it to flow. And I spoke yesterday about how the songs and the music just would not come prior. And then all of a sudden they started flooding in. And again, it's, it's still happening. The words are coming. The... The, the thoughts of the show, the ideas, it's all just in the last two days pouring in. And so now even I can see what it looked like. And before now, I couldn't. I, I, I knew the vision was to do this and um, that I was to create a lot of it. But I couldn't see what it looked like. And that's usually the place that people stop. They get afraid because they don't know or they don't have clarity. But what if clarity comes at just the right moment? What if you just trust and stay in that unknown? Because you have to be prepared in a certain way to receive that. And that's what it feels like has happened. But on top of that, I came into a little bit more expansion, some ideas of, okay, you know, is this an RV tour? I ended up having to trade in my car because the car I had was not going to maneuver different types of weather conditions in, in the event that we had different types of weather conditions as we traveled throughout North America. We are visiting just about every state, bar five, and three cities in Canada, uh, Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver. And so I needed a vehicle that, number one, could carry things. I've got a stage set. Um, the backdrop came immediately in my mind, and so I had had that created. and. There's going to be music equipment and, you know, all kinds of things, plus, you know, luggage, you know, the things that I would need for six months at a time because I'm away for six months, come home for a few days during the holidays, and then I head back out. So I needed to have a different vehicle, a new vehicle, and that in itself is a sign that there's a new me emerging, uh, a new body vehicle within me uh, as well that is going to be discovered on this journey. That as I was looking at what I needed to get and how I needed to do that and trade in my other car, I started to contemplate, you know, is, is an RV the way to go? You know, that's the way I saw it in my mind. That's what I thought had to be. Um, but so many people are putting forward that point about the money. You know, what, what happens with the money? And, you know, how do you afford to do something if it's your dream? And so this morning, as I was getting dressed, you know, the thought started coming of, well, what if it wasn't an RV? What is the possibility? And I think that that's the big question. What is the possibility? Regardless of who you are and where you are in your life, regardless of what you are embarking on or stuck in, what are the possibilities? And I started to think, well, you know, the possibility is, is it could be a caravan of cars. You know, who's to say that the other women that have come on board, uh, Deb, Tuck, um, Maggie, Cammy, Hunt, you know, all these people that have just said, I, I stand with you and I want to be a part of this and I want to support you. You know, what if we are in cars rather than an RV? You know, does that change anything or does that make it, you know, equally good um, or even better? Because when I think about the RV, I'm thinking about there are, we'd, we'd have the hookup and, and takedown at campsites. We'd have the expensive campsites, the gas mileage of an RV, um, you know, a lot of different things, trying to trail another car behind an RV. So I'm just watching the thoughts go through my head. I'm not making a decision because I think so often we too quickly rush into a decision rather than allowing the possibilities to float and marinate until one sets. And so I'm just exploring, but as I started thinking about even that, I started thinking, well, you know, okay, if, if that's the situation, you know, what if I don't want to stay in hotels? What if my real desire is to connect to people? You know, would there be people that would say, Simran, you're coming to my city, we want to host you, stay with us. 
You know, can I can I totally get rid of the money conversation from everyone? Can I can I totally say, okay, let's exclude money completely. Can you still create a dream without money? Because that seems to be the big topic. Well, you can do anything if you have money, but what if you don't have any? So I'm just allowing all these things to float through me and seeing where they land. And I'm open to the possibility. Uh, you know, before I left on this journey, my mother was ill, and I was sitting with her, and she wanted to talk and so she said so you're you're getting your tour set and I said yes and she said so do you have everything all lined up and I said no not really and she said but you have your show all set you know what you're gonna do and I said no not really I, I, I don't know that yet oh but you have the cities and the places you know where you're going to perform and I said no I don't really know that either um, but you have you have sold tickets and you have audiences coming and and you have promotion and you have coverage. No, I don't even know that I have that yet. It's it's all organic. It's going to unfold and it's going to uh, allow itself to birth. And I'm not here to control this. I really want to show people that life does organically happen, just as a seed bursts through the earth grows into a plant and flowers, I do believe we have that capability as human beings. I think we have become too controlling. We've become too knowledgeable. We've become too um, in our heads rather than in our hearts to see how magically life can happen. And so all I'm doing is following my conversations with the universe, just like my book says. And I'm being led. I mean, I'm, I'm having musicians show up and write songs. I'm, I'm having other people show up and say, you know, we would like to be a part of this in this kind of way. And I'm very excited about the collaborations and the sharings and meeting people and seeing how this evolves and morphs and what signs and dots show up along the way, what people, what mirrors of me and you show up along the way to create this incredible adventure that we are, to, to see how many amazing individuals are out there doing incredible things, or how many amazing individuals are there ready to just have their creativity spark, that are ready to, to, to say, I want to say yes to my dreams, I really, really do, can you help me do that? And, and perhaps saying one word, or having them hear one song, or one joke, or just being in the presence of the energy of other people that are willing to say, yes, I choose me, and there are no excuses to not live my dreams. There are no excuses to not allow the life that I deserve to have. Is that a pipe dream? Or is it the truth? And we've gotten caught up in another illusion that would have us think otherwise. Well, I'm here to prove that dreams are real and they're just waiting for us to show up for them so I'll keep you posted I'm gonna sit down because the words are pouring into me for some of these songs and I need to get them down on paper um, because I feel like I'm about to burst with all of the energy and I uh, just wanted to stop and say I love you I am dreaming of you I'm dreaming of meeting you I'm dreaming of embracing you I'm dreaming of laughing and giggling and smiling and sharing together whenever I come to where you are. So in love, of love, and with love, I am Simran. Be blessed and be the dream.